welcome to this week's Torah and wishing you in advance already a very happy Shavuot. On Shavuot we read the Megillah of Ruth, the Megillah of Rus. And in the Megillah we read about how Ruth comes back with her mother-in-law, Naomi, into a place called Beis Lechem. And in Beis Lechem, she then encounters a man by the name of Boaz. She comes into Boaz's field and she asks Boaz whether or not she's allowed to have some of his wheat. And Boaz offers her the wheat, offers her barley, offers her a place to eat, offers her a place to sit, offers her a drink. He gives her so much more than he really needed to give her. And slowly but surely, they realize that Boaz is actually a relative of theirs. And from that comes a relationship where Ruth marries Boaz and becomes the matriarch of King David and of Mashiach. The Megillah of Rus is often known as the Megillah that speaks about chesed, that speaks about kindness. And it's very, very important to note the fact that the whole Megillah and the whole idea of kindness is what caused the kingdom of David to come about. Ruth could have been ignored by Boaz. Boaz didn't have to pay credence. He didn't have to look at this woman, this strange woman that came from another country. Who cares? Who cares about her? But Boaz said, here is a woman that's in desperate need. Here is a woman who looks poor, that needs help. And instead of ignoring her, Boaz then took a step forward and said, Maybe I can help you. Let me find out who you are. Let me see what I can do for you. And is that kindness and that step that Boaz took toward Rus that then meant that Rus became his wife and that Rus became the matriarch of the Jewish monarchy and with it also Mashiach. So now before Shavuot, maybe that's one thing we can keep in mind of the far-reaching consequences of kindness. How much we can do for other people, what kindness really means to other people, and how even small, almost insignificant looking things make a huge difference. Make a huge difference to us, make a huge difference to our monarchy, make a huge difference to the world. This Shavuot, let's make a difference to somebody else and beyond. Share our kindness, share what we have. I wish you all a very good Yom Tov.